Hello. Okay, I hope this one works too, Taylor. I hope it works too. Okay, so if you're new here, my name is Tia B. Stokes. I'm a mother of five, major legend Mays, Taz and Rose. I'm married to the handsome Andrew Stokes. And 256, seven days ago, I was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia. And so this is the way I've been journaling my experience and my opportunity with all of you live every single night. You can join us. Um, as you're dropping into the chat, make sure you drop where you're from, where you're watching from in the comment section. Let us know what day you've been watching. That would be awesome. Um, but this is part two of my part, my last video. So my last video, I talked about um, what to expect when you're getting a bone marrow transplant. So if you haven't seen that video, go hop on over there and watch that video. That was our first one from tonight. This is our second video from tonight. So hopefully this one works and doesn't freeze on us and go crazy. Um, but um, so I wanted to share about my doctor's appointment today. So once a week I have a doctor's appointment and then two, two times a week I do blood work. And um, on Saturday I was experiencing some diarrhea. Sorry, TMI, if that's too much. Too, actually, TMI, I farted on this channel before how many times? So it's not TMI. You were family now, guys. We're family, all right? We're family. So um, I've, I started getting diarrhea like really bad on, on Saturday, like really bad, like it was really bad. And then Sunday it kind of let up a little bit and then um, Monday it started up again. And then I was feeling like, I just been feeling like weird. Like when I try, I loss of appetite. Like when I would try to eat, I could only eat like a little bit and then it would just like, my stomach would just feel like I was gonna throw up or like I just wasn't feeling it, like wasn't feeling food lately. So anyways, I was, I went in with my, to my doctor's appointment with these questions like, okay, cause they ask you, obviously they ask you a million questions. Every time I go in for a doctor's appointment, they ask me a million questions on how I'm feeling, what's my body, blah, blah, blah. like they, it's cancer. So they have to like, and, and I'm a post transplant. So they want to know everything. So I told them about my, um, well, I first went in and I'm like, and they, they came in and they're like, how are you feeling? And I'm like, I'm feeling so light. I had, well, I first had to go get my blood work done at the one hospital at UVU. And then we had to drive to Salt Lake to go do to my doctor's appointment. And when I got to Salt Lake after that, they, um, they asked, how are you feeling? And I said, I feel like crap. Like I have a headache. I have like, I'm getting lightheaded. I'm dizzy. I don't feel like, I feel like I'm going to pass out and short of breath. I was getting short. I was also worried I had COVID because I'm like, oh crap. Cause I can get COVID again because I have a new immune system and my immune system has no memory of my last sicknesses. Yeah. So I'm like, obviously that's why my, we still wear masks in my house because, because, um, we're just trying to slow the spread this way. <laughs> um, we're doing what we can. Um, so they asked, they asked what, um, how I was feeling. And I told them and I was feeling like shortness of breath. Like I got up from my chair and I was like, <gasps> like feeling so shortness of breath. And then when I got to the hospital, I was feeling shortness of breath. So when I told her my symptoms, she goes, well, your blood counts are really low and you need a transfusion today. So I was like, she goes, your blood, your, my parameter is like 24 and I was 22 today. So no wonder I couldn't like breathe. I had no oxygen because my red blood cells were like 20 and low. So I couldn't get any oxygen. So I was feeling crappy that way. And then, um, so I had to get a blood transfusion, which is why I had to go. I'll get to that later. Yeah, it was, it's scary. It's scary how your body reacts. Like if you've never experienced this before, like it's, when you have cancer or blood cancer or you're anemic like that, or you have no red blood cells, you have no red blood cells in your body. You're, I was telling Andy, I'm like, it's so crazy how your body reacts like that. Like automatically I can feel it. Like I could feel all those symptoms right away. You know what I mean? So, so scary. Um, but, um, I also, so then my doctor came in and she asked me, um, she asked me what, um, 
my what I how I'd been feeling, and so I told her about my diarrhea. I told her about what how my eating and my appetite and all loss of appetite and all of that. And she um, um, looked at my numbers, and all my numbers had kind of dipped down. Like they were, they're all pretty still normal, but they're all dipping down. Like all my numbers are dipping down. And my kidneys, my kidneys are elevated. So um, they came, she said, well, well, they gave me a poop test. So they gave me a poop test to take home to take because they wanted to rule out infection. Um, and it, cause if it wasn't infection, then obviously it was graft versus host. And which I've been really scared for the last, I've been really scared about graft versus host because Obviously, that means that your body is trying to fight off the transplant, and my my all my bad cells are attacking my good cells. So that's why I was really I was I like kind of really stressed about that because of my symptoms. And she said, "Well, it seems like to it seems like to us that it it you know it could it seems sounds like graft versus host GVHD that's what they call it." And she said, um, "We." Um, so take this, they wanted me to take that poop test to make sure and, you know, so they could rule out infection. Anyways, oh, I was a mess today, you guys. I was a mess. And plus Andy couldn't come with me today because he, uh, we had, he had to watch the kids and he drove me everywhere, but he would just watch the kids in the car. So I was just like a mess. Um, so anyways, I took my poop test and I took my poop test before I even left the hospital because I had to go to the bathroom already. And when I got to the other hospital, when I got to the other hospital um, to get my blood transfusion, so we came back to Orem, so we live like an hours in distance. When we came back to Orem, um, I had to go and get my blood transfusion. And when I was there, she called me, my doctor called me and said, Tia, I talked to Dr. Sharma and it sound, it's, it's graft versus host. So we want to start you on um, some new medicines. So they start they start me on like a compound medicine tomorrow that takes it takes like 24 hours to make, and then um, another medicine that I'll start tonight. So, <sighs> anyways, that was my day and my unexpected news. I, I I I don't know. It's like one of those things where I'm glad that we found it. We uh, like it's still early. In my transplant, I'm day 35, I think, 35 or 36. So I'm still early in my transplant that, um, but the thing is, is that we're still early in my transplant to have graft versus host. So just pray, we just need to pray that my body will be able to um, accept the transplant. Um, I told my brother, my donor brother that, and he's like already worried and worried um, that I might need another transplant. I don't, I don't think, I don't know. And I don't, th I, I'm, we're not going to jump the gun because we can try doing these medicines first. And, um, Andy's always super positive. He's like, well, Tia, that's what happens. You know, we knew graft versus host was like a thing. That's something that, um, that happens and for transplants. Um, so just prayers that we can, do this and that my body will react and that my body be able to accept the medicines to help it stop um, and that we can be able to um, move forward you know um, but you know I, I was talking to my brother and he's like I'm, I'm just like I'm I'm numb to things like like those kind of things, like, uh, you know, like after having COVID, after having pneumonia, after having acute kidney failure, after having neurological damage, after having um, neurotoxicity, after having uh, cancer, like when I get told news, it's just kind of like, I'm just numb, like, okay, like, I don't know. I'm emotionless, you know, and, um, I'm just trying to, um, hope for, just like I said in my last video, you know, you just hope for the best. And if I, uh, if, if things happen like this, then we just show our strength through him 
and our prayers and um, just pray that it will be able to figure itself out and hi. Oh, oh my gosh. And that we may be able to um, okay. be strong enough to endure endure it. So um, that's all I that's all I want to pray for. So but that is that is the story but that is the that's what happened today at our oh, oh, what, 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 at our at my doctor's appointment. So just prayers you guys. We can we can specific prayers. I know I always get asked for what kind of specific prayers we can have and um, I think that is just the specific prayers, you know, and um, praying so hard that we can be able to figure this out and be able to figure out um, that my body will be able to accept the transplant. And, you know, if not, then just the strength that I can be able to endure whatever's ahead. So um, I'm grateful for all of you. I'm grateful for your love and your and your your prayers. I'm grateful for all of your, your being here with me every night. Thank you for, um, um, for loving our family, for sending good vibes, for your sweet messages, your mail, happy mail, your, um, love, your concerns. I just, I'm so grateful for every single one of you and all of you. So, I love you. Don't forget to smash that like button on your way out. There's 396 people, oh, 99 people on right now. So smash that like button. Um, sorry. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. So I love you guys. And with that, I will leave you guys with a prayer. Our dear and gracious Heavenly Father, we're so grateful to be gathered here together tonight to be able to journal our experience of the things that we have in our lives. And we're so grateful for um, our opportunities and our experiences that we have. And please help us set we can be strong enough to endure and that we can be able to have the strength and faith in thee to be able to do the things that we need to do and please bless up my body be able to react to the medicines that the doctors want to give me today and want to help me get better and so my body be able to accept the transplant or whatever it needs to do and we're so grateful for our doctors and nurses and our and all the good people that are praying for us and coming together and uniting our faith we thank thee so very much for everything good in our life. And we know that it comes from thee, and we thank you so much, Heavenly Father. We ask special blessing upon all those that are sick and afflicted, that they can feel thy love and comfort. And please bless all our families far and near. We say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I love you guys. Say love you. Say bye. Say. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, 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 ah, do the tongue. Where's your tongue? Ah. Mm. How can you have a bad day with her around, right, guys, with my little kids? Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you again. Aloha means hello, goodbye, and I love you.